Today I'm going to take a look at this Icy Dock Express Cage. This is the MB326SP-B and this is a five and a quarter inch bay to six two and a half inch bay adapter. Included in the box are a set of screws for the drives and a set of screws to hold the entire unit inside the case and a little manual. They make several different models, some of which have two SSD sized trays and one three and a half inch size tray. There's one with four and this particular one has six. So uh, I originally got the one with four and it has a single fan at the back. And I didn't like the idea of there just being one fan splitting airflow to that many drive bays. On this design, there's at least two fans and they split between each side. The unit uses these plastic caddies that work reasonably well. They have a nice spring action. They're completely passive. They only have a light pipe on them. There's no actual interconnect. The drive simply mounts inside it. There are two plastic pins for alignment on one end and then the other side uses a couple screws and it includes screws for all six drives. Once they're attached, like these ones are, they're reasonably sturdy. I mean, yeah, I'd rather them have all four screws, to be honest, but if you're in a hurry and you don't want to mount them with screws, they do actually mount with just the pins. So they insert quite easily. Uh, so, well, sometimes they kind of get a little bit misaligned, but for the most part, they're pretty smooth. No need to worry about all the complaints about the fans failing. It looks like they're actually using some good quality fans. Uh, I'm not convinced. On the back, there are six standard serial ATA ports. These are purely passed through. There's no electronics in this whatsoever uh, in regards to the serial ATA. It simply has a detection circuit to turn on the LED whenever a drive is, is inserted. Other than that, it doesn't interfere with the host at all. The fan on this side is completely blocking the serial ATA power connector. And I don't understand why they do that. Uh, you can just rotate the fan one notch and it should clear it. There's a second serial ATA power connector on this side, and there's also a switch for the fan control, which is auto, low and high. Uh, I read somewhere in the manual that the auto setting turns on the fan at 30 degrees Celsius. The serial ATA power connectors, one connector powered, will power all the drives. I don't know if it would do it reliably with six hard drives in it, but it, the drives do work, at least with one installed e each slot. However, all the fan control is handled by this serial ATA power connector. So you basically have to fill this side first or at least power it no matter what. I'm only using two drives at this time in my server. So I'm going to be powering just this side to get the fans going and I'll probably disconnect this fan. I'm also going to switch these fans to an exhaust. They're currently set to intake air through the uh, caddies, but uh, there's no filter on that. So I'd rather it exhaust out through it and then let all the air intakes that I have on my server with filters handle all the incoming air so it's all the dust is at least filtered out. One thing to note about the serial ATA power connectors is that they're very close to the fan so using a 90 degree angled power connector is very difficult. It, depending on the connector it can actually bend away from one side and I would not recommend using it like that. A straight through connector like this one works fine. It just plugs right in and there's no issue aside from the stupid wiring like I mentioned earlier. You might need to factor in that you need an extension cable or some other adapter to power this thing if you only have 90 degree power connectors coming off your power supply. Also keep in mind that you're going to need serial ATA cables because there are none included. Most motherboards include enough to get you by so you may only have to pick up a couple. The body is a mixture of plastic and metal, the top being metal and pretty much everything else being plastic. There's a few clips and a couple screws holding in the main PCB, which just has the serial ATA connectors, some little rubber bumpers, the switch, and well, more serial ATA connectors. On the board, there's just a single IC, which is an HY539. No idea what that is other than it might be a regulator. I don't think it's one though. I mean it's got a big um, big resistor on the back but uh, that was the only even remote hint I got for what this chip could be. Uh, like I said it just says HY HY539 on it so no idea. 
Uh, if anything, it's just powering a little circuit to run this uh, teeny tiny little thermistor, which is doing all the temperature sensing. And it looks like there's a transistor per LED for the detection of drives. And that's about it. I mean, the board doesn't have much on it. These oddly shaped cutouts are the only source of airflow for the drives other than a little gap on the top and the bottom. When the fans are installed, they actually block most of the opening with their motors. So the airflow just isn't very efficient in these things. So I wouldn't really recommend using hard drives in these. Uh, SSDs generally don't get too hot, so I don't really have a problem using them in it. But I think a bunch of hard drives, especially like 7200 RPM drives, I don't think they'd work too well in here. The four drive model was even worse because it had it located in the center and it was splitting it off to two sides. This one I think is a much better design, but even still, it's not great. I think they could have done a much better job with airflow. At least it's designed in a way where it's pretty good at splitting it to the, all the drives. Fan. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that should work. Perfect. With it all back together, I'm gonna keep the secondary fan unhooked because I don't have any drives installed on this side. I'm just gonna be using this one side and even then just two drives right now. And yeah, I don't think that 200 millimeter knock two is gonna do, but I think I can make do with this 40 millimeter one. Uh, keep in mind that if you're buying a new uh, knock to a fan for this, Go with the 20 millimeter because there's a newer design. This is the, uh, the older design. They've made it quite a bit more powerful. So you might as well switch out to the new one if you're just buying it. I just happen to have an older one here. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll be using the low noise adapter, but we'll see. The only reason why I'm keeping this fan on it is simply because it holds the screws until, <laughs> until I'm ready to use both sides. The included fans are actually quite quiet. I have read things that they're, they can be unreliable and you know I just tend to put Noctua fans and everything so I might as well swap it out. But the fans, in my experience so far, running it, it seems to be pretty good and they're, they're quite quiet. They don't push a lot of air but you don't really need a ton when, like I said, when you're running uh, SSDs. Because the countersinking on the Noctua's is quite a bit lower than the included fans. You might want to throw on an M3 washer, a small one, just to keep it from uh, screwing in too far as it can uh, actually brush up against the board if it goes too far because the, the screws are quite long. So is this thing any good? Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, as long as the fans hold up, I haven't done any long-term testing. The construction is pretty flimsy with the plastic, but it seems to be good enough to just hold the drives. I wouldn't recommend this for anything that you're going to be hot swapping them constantly. I don't think it'll hold up to that. You want something with a much more sturdy caddy. I wouldn't recommend getting the three and a half inch plus two, two and a half inch model because it has no cooling fan and I don't trust running any three and a half inch hard drives without any cooling. It's pretty expensive at around $55, at least at time of purchase. The four drive one is only 45 or so. But like I said, it only comes with one fan and I don't really trust the cooling quite as much in it. Overall, I think it's worth it, at least for my particular needs. I'd like to see uh, movement of the serial ATA power connectors, maybe to the outside, like maybe move this one here and clump all the serial ATA data connectors in the middle. It's a hard decision to make because pretty much no matter where you put it, it's not gonna be great. 